Hey guys, this is iTag every week, and I'm showing you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.5 uh, using Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 1. And now, uh, for those who don't know, this is the newest release of Red Snow, which is completely different. Uh, it's different than any other Red Snow ever created. Uh, now, you don't have to download any of these stock I IPSW files uh, because you don't have to point it towards any other firmware. Like right here, I got Red Snow uh, 0.9.8 Beta 7. And this one, you can see right there, it says browse. You need to browse for your firmware. Uh, but in this redstone, you can see right here, all you have to do is just uh, click on jailbreak right here. And it now this look kind of like the normal red snow. It just gives you the instructions that you have to do, you do DFU mode and all that stuff. So I am going to show you first of all that I am running 4.3.5. Let's go to general about. And uh, right here, you can see, does it focus in? Hold on a second. You can't see uh, right there, it's just 4.3.5. So just make sure you are on 4.3.5. Uh, for some reason, I was on iOS 5 beta uh, 7, which is the current beta out right now. Uh, and when I tried downgrade, when I tried uh, to go, when I, I just tried to restore my device and it just said it can't be restored right now. So I had to actually uh, use Tiny Umbrella and start the TSS service to get that to restore uh, to 4.3.5. So I, what I actually ended up doing was downloading the, uh, the stock iOS uh, 4.3.5 anyway. I do want to recommend you uh, open up iTunes and go ahead and back up your iDevice uh, just in case something happens along the process of jailbreaking. Most likely nothing will ever happen. I've jailbroken my devices plenty of times and nothing has ever happened to them. Uh, so you guys really you really don't have to worry about that. But just in case, go ahead and back it up in iTunes. And uh, the second thing is this is a tethered jailbreak, uh, which means every time you turn off your device and back on, you have to open up Red Snow and uh, boot it up in a just boot tethered state, which I'll show you later on in this video uh, after we do the jailbreak. Uh, but all right, so this is the part actually right when we click next here It'll go through the, the DFU mode, but we're gonna go ahead and do it uh, right before We're actually gonna go ahead and do it right now because we can uh, bypass that screen right there So let's go ahead and do that and uh, they actually do say uh, turn off your device But it doesn't really matter uh, you can if you want, but you don't have to uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and take my iPod right over here And uh, let's see here. All right, I got the camera set up now So DFU mode all you gotta do is hold the, uh, the power button right here and the home button together for 10 seconds and then release the power button and then continue holding the home button uh, for about 10 seconds, somewhere around there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it now. So power and home button together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release that and then just continue holding the home button and Red Snow, Red Snow will, uh, it'll recognize a DFU mode and go ahead and uh, going to the next thing so you can see it's going on right now so uh, there we go you can see it's identifying uh, and I got the device right here uh, now it's exploiting with lime rain I'll put in the first stage waiting for the reboot your device screen should go white uh, if it doesn't it doesn't really matter uh, I think normally it always does go white but let's just uh, go ahead and watch all this um, I did notice that preparing the jailbreak data this took a little bit longer than uh, the old red snow, but that's just because you don't actually have you're not pointing it towards a certain stock IPSW file That's why this would take longer um, and it does recognize everything. I uh, you got your bill your ECID and uh, your specific device uh, So I am gonna not cut through any of this Just wait for this to go on if you do want to skip it I'll uh, probably put an annotation or something if I remember so you can just skip this part right here Here we are patching the kernel now. And you guys probably recognize this page in Red Snow. Uh, this is pretty much the same. Uh, right now, currently on my device, it's lit up and it's got a black screen. That's all right now. Uh, so what I am going to check off here, my camera's focus. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm going to enable multitask gestures and enable battery percentage because I am an iPod Touch. Let's go ahead and hit next. Now it's actually doing the jailbreak. And you can see in here it's got that hard drive saying uh, downloading jailbreak data on the computer. It's uploading the RAM disk. And uh, now it just explains uh, this is a tethered jailbreak, which I already told you guys about. Uh, I'll actually go ahead and let this focus in. If you guys want to check this out, go ahead and pause it right now. Uh, but Now in Redstone, it does say done. After that tether jailbreak popped up, all the info on there. Uh, so you can go ahead and, well actually it's not a little bit different. Normally it says finished right now, uh, but it actually has next grayed out. It's going to wait for this to uh, finish up on here. 
Uh, so I'm going to cut through uh, some of this now. It's just taking a little bit. All right, so now it's uh, moving the applications into place, and this takes a while. So, um, so I am going to uh, cut through a little bit of this. I'll, uh, I'll just keep on. I'll continue filming this, and I'll just edit out this part a little bit. All right, so now it is installing the bundles, and Red Snow still doesn't do anything. I'm trying to see here. Uh, the iDevice is booting up. Redstone still has next grayed out. I'm not sure as to why it's doing that. Um, I'm assuming once it boots up, it'll probably uh, allow you to click next, but it's still grayed out at this point. So let's see what happens. Device is still booting up. Let's just be patient here. So I'll just wait for this to uh, finish booting up. And actually, when this does, okay, there we go, just booted up. You'll see right now that Cydia is a white icon. And actually, it still has next grayed out. So I'm assuming you can just hit cancel because the jailbreak actually did finish. But on the iDevice, uh, I just got Cydia and it's white. And every time you click on that, it doesn't load up. Uh, same thing with Safari. This just quits out. I'm not sure what the internet applications, but I don't get it. The other ones work, but Safari and Cydia don't. Uh, so now I'll just go ahead and hit cancel in here. Let's open up Red Snow again. And now you have to go to extras to get this to work. Now this beta, now this beta of Red Snow is 0 0.9.9. .9, uh, does have a few different features. Actually, I'm not sure. I think this SHSH blob is new. Uh, I'm not sure what the AOR stuff. I haven't really looked into this that much. Uh, but what we need to do right now is the just boot. As you can see right there, it's just, just boot tethered right now. Uh, and that is what we need to do. So let's just go ahead and click that. Same thing, DFU mode. Let's do that again. So I'm gonna take uh, the camera over here, do the same thing again, power and home button together. Ten seconds. There we go, release the power, and just continue holding the home button and we'll see here. Uh Red Snow should do something. There we go, it just moved on, bypassed that screen. You can release the home button now. And uh, this part does not take too long, not nearly as long as the other part. Device screen went white again. Uh, it's waiting for their boot. And there you see the pineapple logo. Rebooting, and it's done. Um, once again, it just has next grayed out. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but it's in beta, so whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and open it redstone once again so I can go through some of these features while this boots up. Uh, so, extras. All right. Uh, I'm going to go through some of this stuff. I'm not going to go into depth on all this. Uh, Pwn DFU, you can see it gives a description right here. Uh, you can just you do this to uh, prepare uh, your device uh, to downgrade. If you're downgrading to a certain firmware, like if you're on 4.3.5, you want to go to 4.3.3. As long as you got those SHSH Bob saved 4.3.3 for your specific device, uh, it'll allow you to downgrade. So you just click on that Pwn DFU right there, and then you open up iTunes and downgrade like normal. Recovery Frick. Recovery fix, uh, if you're stuck in recovery mode, you can just go ahead and do that and it should kick you out of recovery. Uh, SHSH blobs, you can fetch, verify, or use the SHH, SHSH blobs. Uh, so that, if you guys aren't familiar with Tiny Umbrella, that also does that same stuff. Uh, select IPSW, uh, so this is the same, this is how you used to do it. You had to select that IPSW, uh, which I just showed you guys earlier, I had downloaded on my computer. So what you do is hit select IPSW, and then uh, you'd find where it is on your device, and right there is 4.3.5, so I could do it that way. And the jailbreak actually goes faster that way, but downloading the software would take longer, so it wouldn't pay off anyway. Uh, but if you have the IPSW uh, there, if you have the IPSW downloaded, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, and the user preferences, I'm actually not exactly sure what that is. Let's go into that. Uh, so this looks like it's more for developers and people who are more experienced with this, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but... Uh, if you, as you guys just heard, uh, the iPod booted up, and Cydia is now not grayed out. So if you open up Safari, you'll see uh, that Safari works, and uh, Cydia actually loads up. Let's see, there you are. So I'm not actually connected to a Wi-Fi right now, but you can see Cydia works, you guys. So that's it, guys. Every time, I just want to clear this up again. Every time you turn your device off and back on, you will have to go back into Red Snow and uh, do the just boot tethered uh, mode and that will get your device running again. Uh, well, that's all guys. If you have any questions or comments or uh, run into any problems or anything like that, go ahead and
uh, drop a comment or just send me a message and email anything will work and I'll respond to you shortly that way also guys if you enjoyed this video go ahead and thumbs it up down below and go ahead and subscribe up top uh, to be notified when I release a new video I will have a great day and this is iTech every week signing out